have entered the realm of the gods. So give us your mind and your full attention. So you say you deal with esoteric information? I never heard of such. Well, you're in for a treat. Blah talk, blah talk, this is the blah talk. I lean L Bay dropping jewels every day. Blah talk, blah talk, this is the blah talk. Metaphysical, we deal with the spiritual. Blah talk, blah talk, this is the blah talk. I lean L Bay dropping jewels every day. Blah talk, blah talk, this is the blah talk. Metaphysical, we deal with the spiritual. So you claim to be a god? Damn right I'm a god. The maker, the owner, cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization, god of the So get your notepad, it's more than an hour full Watch your job, the crew with watch us talk Indigenous to the land, wherever we stand First world order, we bring it at home in the first quarter Invisible lines don't apply, we cross borders Silly rabbit, knowledge for God No matter where you resign, lies, temple of Mars So don't fret or proceed with hesitation Just tune in to Blog Talk to get the information Peace Whether you suffer from pain in your back To aches in your knees Come on down and purchase you some ancestral tea to get rid of all the parasites, toxins, and fleas. Spiritual elevation for cosmic gravitation. So put away the patience, because there's no time to be wasted. Y'all can break y'all weed on. All 
my hair is more or less the king of slave ships. But what about the underwater cities of spaceships? My mystical mind, we had a government covering. But if the old man temple fly away like a mothership, where African people wear the rear and they knock it, wearing feathers on their heads just to prove feet taller than me. Through the transition and it's all she wrote. Put on my auntie, gave my cheese and peace back to the Pope. Back to the Pope. Came back my angel time to bring heaven on earth. I was the last daughter child that returned to the birth. Yo, don't look at me the same, I ain't nothing like I used to be Upgraded daily through the lies and all the foolery My dream became lucid, I travel back in time Collecting life data for my subconscious mind That father let me know that anything is possible By pulling down the universe through my crown chakra Manipulate the energy, is all an illusion Knowing who you are kills all the confusion Why 85% judge off my appearance? I use alchemy to create the world potential My lyrics turn divas right back into queens Why don't Boys that think twice appearing back on the scene Everybody gone mad, blame the media outlet The new black Hollywood chosen straight out of the project For more agenda war, sucking up to the master While the whole community going up in disaster We going through the transition and that's all she wrote Put on my auntie, gave my cheese and peace back to the Pope Came back my angel time to bring heaven on earth I was the last golden child that returned to the birth We going through the transition and that's all she wrote Put on my auntie, gave my cheese and peace back to the Pope Peace, peace, back again with your host, Dr. Alain Bay. No doubt you are listening to First World Order Radio, and we are back, back in the building once more. Let me bring on my co-host, Brother Fahim Mel, before we get into tonight's discussion of the manifestation of God. Brother Fahim, are you here, brother? Yes, a hard day watch to East, Dr. Alain. Hey, I did watch to East. How you doing tonight, Professor Grand Sheik? How you doing? Doing well, God. I'm doing very well. How you doing? All right, all right, all right. Doing good, doing good. We're going to try to get into some heavy discussion tonight about the manifestation of God. Um, Before we even get into that, let me talk about the fact that we will be having a lecture this coming weekend, a lecture, all right? Um, It will be in Dallas, Texas, at the Act of Change. That's 3200 Lancaster Road, all right, Suite 623. Dallas, Texas, 75216. All right, for those that want tickets, please contact us at 817-495-5666. All right, and you will be speaking with Sister Frances Webb. That number is 817-495-5666. So if you're in the surrounding areas of Texas, so if you're in Mississippi, all right, if you're in Louisiana, if you're in any area, all right, that's close to Dallas, Texas, come on out and check us out because we will be there this coming weekend, all right, um, in particular Saturday, November the 5th, 2016. The event opens at 4 p.m., and it goes through 7 p.m. Eastern t- Standard Time, um, not Standard Time, but, um, but 4 p.m. through 7 p.m., all right. Um, once again, it will be at the Act of Change. That's 3200 Lancaster Road, Suite 623. That's Suite 623, all right? So come on out, Dallas, Texas. Come on. We're going to be in the building, all right? Dr. Eileen Bay, we're going to be doing it. It's called the Manifestation of God's Energy, but you know we're going to be going to everything that you can possibly think of. So come on out. All right, check us out. Once again, the phone number that you need to contact to get the tickets is Francis Webb. This goddess number is 817-495-5666. All right. Um, all right, let's, that's, that's enough for that, Brother L. I guess let's get into the topic of discussion for tonight. All right. And um, that's the manifestation. That's the manifestation of God. All right. Um, let me just start out saying that when we look at the manifestation of God, we're talking about universal energy, 
all right? In particular, this universal energy is what is called dark energy, all right? You have about 70%, which is composed of dark energy of this universe. The other 26 is dark matter. And then about 4%, everything else, which includes all the stars, the planets, um, the suns, which are stars, actually, comets, asteroids, et cetera, et cetera. All right, us, you know. So that's everything. Now, if you go to King James, all right, in the Bible, and it's Isaiah, the 45th chapter, the third verse, it states that I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Now, I will give thee the treasures of, dark, of darkness. What's the treasures of darkness? Well, the treasures of darkness correlates to this 70% and this 26%, which is this um, dark energy and black matter, all right, um, which correlates to about, what, 96%, mm-hmm. you know, um, in essence of, of the totality of, of, of the universe, you know, and this essence is stated that this is where um, the absolute or supreme God or nature, Elo, Ayla, Allah lives. All right, this is this is the this is what is thought of here um, within the average religion, in particular the one of the you know, monotheistic belief systems. But um, looking at this dark energy, we have to come to the conclusion that maybe could it be that this mysterious form of energy is really the accumulation of the remnants of the life energy which departed from all living organisms throughout the universe when they died? This, this, is, this is just a thought. Mm-hmm. You know, this is just a thought. Because you know that the first law of therm, um, um, thermodynamics, which is also known as the law of conservation of energy, states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Right. Mm-hmm. And energy can only right, right. And energy can only be what transferred or changed from one form to another. Right. For example, turning on a light would seem to produce energy. However, it is electrical energy that is converted. All right? And I just wanted to state that, you know. Um, and, and why are we saying this? Because when we look at the universe, our galaxy itself has 300 billion stars, over 300 billion stars. And one in five stars has an Earth-like planet with liquid water. So roughly that would be about 60 billion Earths, like planets, in our galaxy alone. But our galaxy is small. Some have up to one trillion stars. You know, so how many galaxies are there? You know, in our observable universe, there are about 107 billion galaxies. And each, each up each one with um, each with up to about one trillion stars. Mm. So this means around what? Shoot, you're looking at you're looking at what? Um, almost twenty-four. Uh, uh, 24 square 20 Or 20 circles You know um, um, After 24 That's what we mostly That's damn near what we're looking at And these are just earth like planets In our universe You know So I mean We talk about a lot of life in which yeah. that 
to that return back to this, um, what they refer to as dark energy, you know, which makes up 70%. You know, what we are conscious what they, of what they say that we can't see. Then you have dark matter or black matter, and then you also have um, aether, A-E-T-H-E-R, which is ether, but it's aether, aether. And aether is part of this hidden substance. So really, this black energy or dark energy this black matter, dark matter, and this aether or aether, these three make up what is called the triple stage darkness that the Holy Quran speaks about. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I, I know you heard about the triple stage darkness, Brother L. Um, you right. you build on that? Yeah, they were talking about the. Uh, they I also used it, the the triple darkness. I uh, also used it in masonry as well, as uh, okay. I know you know the ritual. Uh, when some mm-hmm. uh, when a mason asks you, whence where you uh, where whence where you came, oh. you know, and right. you say I came from right. the a womb of triple darkness, right? You know, and this is uh, 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 you know, instead of saying from the uh, from the uh, uh, from the holy saint John's, but but that has also a symbolic meaning also, but I I used to, to uh, refer to the triple darkness. Right, right. Yeah, that, that's all right. Uh, so, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that's uh, dealing with uh, the womb, right? And which we all came from because we all our mother's sons, you know. Right. So, uh, right. So as right. So as above, so below. As within, so without. So if the mother had three trimester periods, you know, um, which is the first trimester, the second trimester, the third trimester, and each is broken down into three months apiece. You know, so the first trimester is three months, the second trimester is three months, the third trimester is three months, and three times three is nine. Hence, the child coming to the tenth month to be born or to come forth from out of the darkness into the light. Hence, the triple stage darkness. Well, that means our universe will have to be in the same format. Would that, would that not be correct, Brother L? It would be. Right, 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 right. So um, we don't think that it is just a coincidence that the universe is broken down. Also, even though most quantum physicists or physicists only speak about um, dark energy and black matter, they only mm-hmm. speak about those two states, but they also um, have to speak about aether. You know, um, which is a which is a more refined form of ether, all right. Um, but like I said, those are the three realms. I mean, if we go to the thongs, um, the wrongs, the thongs, um, which is I think the thirty ninth surah, the sixth verse in the Quran. It says, "He creates you in the womb of your mother in stages." One mm. after the other in triple darknesses. Mm. All right. Now, and it also said, oh, the veil. It, it also, not just the triple stage of darkness, or triple veils of darkness. All right. The, the, um, the triple darkness of space, or, you know, it has many names, but it always is that triple darkness, you know, or the stage of triple darkness. Or the state of triple darkness. Well, those three trimester periods, as we broke down, it also correlates to the three zones within the, the mother's womb that protects the fetus against all sorts of danger. And that's the abdominal wall, um, the, the uterine wall, and the embryonic sac, in which that the child is embedded inside of that fluid. You know, and it is from there that when the water breaks, which is the opening of the embryonic fluid, um, 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 sac fluid, um, comes rushing out the woman, she knows that the child is coming. 
you know, it's time to get her to the hospital, time to have, um, you know, the uh, the sister there in order to help with the pregnancy, which is um, referred to, um, what's what's the um, old times, um, Brother L, you know, where, mm-hmm. where they used to have um, a sister there in order to help with the pregnancy, what was she called? Uh, she was uh, the sister to help with the pregnancy. Um, the ah, uh, I, I know what I got in the back of my head, but I can't think of it right offhand. Okay, okay. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, we uh, we refer to as the midwife. Of, of, uh, the midwife. May, that's what we use. Midwife. Okay. Okay. Mhm. So. Um, you know, if you didn't have a doctor, you had a midwife that was there, which that could help with the pregnancy or the delivery of the child, you know. Um, so, you know, this is really what we're looking at here when we talk about triple stage darkness, um, these levels, all right, um, of life, all right. And this is this is something in which that, isn't really talked about much, you know, when we look at the life aspect of what is really going on, you know, and how important life is and what it takes for life to get here. You know, quantum physicists have stated that more than 90% of your physical body is stardust particles or stardust material. That means a star had to go into supernova mode and had to die in order for you to have flesh. So when we talk about Jesus Christ dying on the cross, it's really talking about a star in space dying, you know, so that you can come forth and manifest in its flesh. Mm. And this is why when you watch the movies, like, um, example, Simba and... Mufasa and Lion King When Mufasa died Who was Simba's father He went to go be a star in the sky Well that's not just a TV show or a movie You know That is actually What the indigenous people say happened hmm. Is that when a person Past physical form They go to be A star in the sky this is taught within all of the indigenous cultures around the world, Brother L, whether you're in Africa, whether you're in the Americas, or whether you're in Australia. Well, would that would that relate to the uh, the uh, the old Christmas movie, It's a Wonderful Life, dealing with the angel Clarence, as well, he has a star in the sky when he left. Uh, mm-hmm. So that's both related? Yeah, as well as also on Christmas time, you put a star at the top of the Christmas tree. Okay, so whoever who made that movie knew the science too. Well, more than likely, they either was Rosicrucians or Mason. Mm-hmm. You know, which which most of them are. They deal with some type of esoteric um, information. You see. Hmm. Yeah, they do some type of esoteric information, brother Al. Same you know. thing with the uh, you were speaking about energy a little earlier. Uh, same thing with the uh, Michael Myers character in the uh, Halloween movie. Right. And I wonder why they couldn't kill him because uh, you cannot kill energy. Energy never dies; it either goes away and, and take another form. I know when they are uh, the and Halloween. Is- Go ahead. No, and I was going to say, and that's really what um, the culture or the religion of, you know, when you read the books of the Morabobat, um, Bata, uh, the Uspanishads, or any other book from the Indian culture, or I say Indo Kush culture, or the to um, Tamil people, which is called the pre Davidian, which we now know is India, we or Hindustan, as it was once called, we know, Brother L, that 
um, they speak about incarnation or reincarnation in particular and how um, life can come from many forms because of that scenario that you just broke down. That's what they're really talking about. Mm-hmm. They say, well, you know, a man could have been a dog before. No, what they're talking about is that the spirit, which means animation, hence that which is animated or that which is an animal could have once been this or that or this. And they just hold out the spiritual energy of that because energy, like you said, cannot die, mm-hmm. you know. But the soul, you know, is something different. The soul is a higher refinement of spirit. And when you pass form, you have the four lower devils, which that is what we're talking about as far as that spirit that could have become any other animated force on the planet. But if you have risen your kutalini into the three highest chakras, which is known as the Aku, the Ka, and the Ba, within the ancient Kemetic teachings or Temerian teachings, then that is the higher body. That is what is known as what survives death. That survived death. And those three bodies um, is your soul, symbolic to your soul, and it's like an egg, you know, um, a refinement. And just like the Aku, which symbolizes, which means glorified light body, the Ka means spirit, which is the higher um, spiritual body, and then you have the Ba, which means soul. Those three is like an egg, and that's uh, what people see orbs. When people see orbs, that's really what they're talking about. That is an ancestor. Hmm. Okay? Um, You know, so people have to understand what's really going on here. You know, this this is not something in which that, you know, we just come into the knowledge of. This is something that the ancients have told us. For eons You know it's just like um, What the Hindus say If God wished to hide God would choose man to hide in Because <laughs> this is the last place Where man would look for God <laughs> mm-hmm. So we know the trouble With the masses of humanity today Is that they are trying to become Something that is already within them <laughs> <laughs> You know, we're seeking and searching everywhere outside ourselves for God. And not saying that yeah. God doesn't exist also outside, because God is everything. However, for your personal Lord and Savior, as the Christians say, you know, it must come from within. So attending um, countless lectures, and, and I just got to say, that don't mean miss my lecture this um, Saturday, though or meetings, or groups, reading innumerable books, you know, looking for teachers and personalities and leaders, when all the time God is right within. You know, so if humanity will let go of the trying and accept that they are, they will soon be perfectly aware of the real reality, not the apparent reality. Because right now, we are only aware of the apparent reality. And that which appears to be real is really an illusion. Mm -hmm. Okay? You know, um, this is just the truth of the matter. And um, also, we find out that all living organisms breathe. So in order to live, we breathe. But breathing is more than the act of keeping ourselves alive. You know, breath unites the mind, the body, and the spirit and the soul, you know? And to understand the power of the breath in this way, we need to consider the act of breathing as overstood in what we call physiotherapy and what they have discovered and brought forth as evidence, you know, right? For example, if you control your breath, you control your mind. You control your mind. You control your life. Mm. All right? All and right. There's a good book. Yeah, yeah. 
And there's a good book too, um, Brother L. Um, Living on Light. That's the name of the book. Living on Light. And it offers the possibility maintained by the universe what was in, or also called prana or chi or ki energy. And we know that some saints or sages have done this before. But now the time has come where everyone can do it for themselves. Um, the last state of being a um a um a omnivorous, then a carnivorous, a vegetarian, a vegan, a liquidarian, and then a breedarian. There's like seven states. But the breedarian get nurtured from the purest source. All those others are secondary sources. All right, so the universal life force energy is actually what which contains all bodily needs. But because they have messed up the atmosphere and is covering up with this aluminum and barium, which we call chemtrails, um, it's kind of hard to get it unless you are out there on a consistent basis when the sky is clear, you know, somewhere clear, you know. So it's not necessary to have a certain religion or belief to do this process. Mm-hmm. You simply, you simply come back in tune with nature itself, you know, and, and, and that's what we really have to learn how to do, come back in tune with nature, mm-hmm. you know, because God is energy, you know, a, a vibrating relative to the, to, to, the, to, to the frequency of the source, mm-hmm. and the source being the very center of the universe of energy. Well, that was the pagans. The pagan uh, was about uh, yeah. dealing, uh, dealing with the energy of nature, you know, plants, mm-hmm. trees, and you know the grass and everything, flowers, because they all had life and they all had energy, you know. And mm-hmm. this was one, but there's nothing really wrong with paganism, really, for us. My concern. Uh, no, the word pagan simply means people's traditions, brother L. And they got right. thinking that's something that's 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 real bad. And, oh, yeah. no, you don't want to be that, you know? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it just simply means people. Tra- it just simply means people's traditions. And every people have a tradition because it's called a culture. Right. You know, but they got us thinking it's something that's no. It just means a people's traditions. You know, and we have to come back to a tradition in which that um, kind of acts the current condition that we in, because we see what's going on with the current condition. It's not right. conducive to health. No, it's, it's not, not conducive to long life. It's not conducive to to um, to energy. Everything is about stopping energy from flowing to right. stagnate energy in this system. Everything is based on the fear factor. Here come the terrorists. <laughs> oh, Hillary, we get ready to become president. Oh, you don't want that to happen, niggas. <laughs> oh, no, Donald Trump is KKK. <laughs> you, can't, you know, everything is a fear factor. Yeah. Everything, everything is fear. And fear, when you break it down, it stays that way. False evidence appearing real. Right. The worst so thing you can have. Right, right. Is your mind thinking that something is when it really isn't? You know? There's nothing to fear, you know. Right. Another illusion. Right. Because God is mine, and mine is totality. And I don't mean mine in the sense of the mind that you thing that you're using now, talking about the refined mind, the divine mind, mm-hmm. which is your soul. The soul is the divine mind, the refined mind, and the universe is created in the mind of God. This is based on what they told you within the Kabbalion. Um, Baba Grandmaster C. Freeman L. speaks about the Kabbalion all the time in his videos. He said, get that book, because 
Mentalism is one of the seven principles of Tahuti. You have correspondence. You have karma, which is cause and effect. Polarity. You have rhythm. You have vibration. You have gender, which is sex, along with mentalism. These are the seven principles. So the laws of the universe follows the laws of the mind. And everything is made of pure energy, which is consciousness. And consciousness creates everything and directs everything. So by understanding the mind, we are able to understand reality or what appears to be reality. For the mind is everything. And the mind controls everything. And this is why the universe is mental. So being that man is a walking thought form, that means man is the mind, incarnated. <laughs> That's right. And God is man, and man is God. Okay? Mm-hmm. So the first substance of for we find out that the first substance of the universe, Brother L, that was produced is magnetism, not electricity. So they have us thinking in the opposite way when they talk about electromagnetic. No, it's magnetic and electrical. Okay. It's no, it's no electric magnetic. Because magnetic or magnetism is the first substance of the universe. And it was created by condensation. Now, you put a new one on me when you said that. Magnetic, yeah, mag- yeah. magnetism Con- was first, okay. Right, right. Magnetism was first. Because it dealt with the law of attraction. Which is mentalism. But what is, what is the, what, how did magnetism come into existence? It came into it by condensation. But condensation of what? Condensation of the mind. God, the mind... Hmm. In its expanded state, which is the universe, formed the first substance, which is magnetism. And magnetism condensed further and formed the second state or second substance called electricity. And then electricity condensed further into forming light, which is the third substance of the universe. Okay? And, and this is what happened, Brother L. Hmm. Because magnetism pulls everything. Right. The 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 the, the, the uh, what you call the uh, 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 what holds the earth together, the planets together. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Right. Holds everything hmm. together. Exactly. Exactly. Gravity. Bingo. Exactly. Hmm. So when Muslims say la ilaha illallah. Nothing will exist if Allah didn't create it. He is alone and has no partners. When they talk about that, they talk about the mind of God. When they say when they say that, they they're not really saying that the mind, um, um, the mind of God is nothing, or that it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It means that the mind is not a thing, and it's obvious to everyone that the mind or consciousness, as we say. All right, is not a tangible thing, yet it is the source of all things in existence. We know that because the totality of the mind doesn't even exist within the physical body. The average person only used two to ten percent of their brain. That means the other ninety-eight to ninety percent is some goddamn wells. <laughs> You see what I'm saying, Brother Al? I see exactly what you're saying. Yes. Right. So the right. So the Vedic wisdom tells us that the soul is our consciousness, and so our consciousness survives death because that is the soul. Mm-hmm. And that is the most refined part of ourselves, which is what we call the divine mind, which is actually God. That spark of God that lays within us. That was. Put within us. This is where we mm-hmm. read in the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, that God formed Adam <laughs> on the sixth day and breathed into the nostrils of man the breath of life, and man became a living soul. <laughs> yeah. 
They definitely put the science in that. Yeah. So They'll energy do doesn't carry. Then. Right, right. So energy doesn't carry consciousness. Consciousness directs energy. There's a difference. So every neutron, which is your brain neurons, or every brain neuron that's triggered, every action you take, every pulse, every wave, or light, or sound, or radiation, we've been looking for the spirit within them, but they're all within the spirit. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm going to say that again. We've been looking for just the spirit within them, but they're all within the spirit. So not only do the spirit dwells within it, just like the spirit dwells within us, but we are all in the spirit. We're all in God. When you look and break down the words, right, when you look and break down the words spirit, spirit in the Webster Dictionary, the acronym or the synonym, excuse me, for spirit is breath. When you go with mm-hmm. the breath, you can see it better inside the definition, spirit. So when we said that God breathed his breath of life into the nostrils of man and man became a living soul, we're talking about God breathed his essence inside of man. Hmm. And so right there alone, that tells you that man has God within him. Because God breathed his essence inside of each and every one of us. And it's only through the breath that you can realize that connection. But because we don't breathe properly, we have debased ourselves and tore ourselves away from Allah or from God. Okay. So and we got to get back to that. And, and, Right, and we only want to dwell within our lower self, which is the four lower chakras, known as the four devils. Our mortal body, we only want to dwell within our mortal body, and that, and, and those mortal bodies die along with the physical body or dissolve soon after the death of the physical body. Okay. Can breathe? That's what he uh, deals with the higher self, which is which is God, and the lower self, which is the devil or Satan. Right. Uh, the question you in the one on ones, yeah. Uh, we must overcome the lower exactly. self. Right. You uh, have to overcome that lower self, that devil within each and every one of us, so that God or Christ can reign supreme. That teaches that in your Masonic rituals, dealing with the Masonic right. apron. Right. Exactly. That's why you cover. That's why the covering is over the genitals because you are a Gentile if they are revealed. Because your Gentiles mm-hmm. revealed is your genitals. That's why the word genitals mm-hmm. and Gentiles. That's why the word genital and Gentile are synonymous. <laughs> mm. Mm, check that out. And that, right. Because your genitals produce your genes, which is the next ancestors or descents or descendants. So hence genitals causes the production of your genes. And from the genes of the mother and father comes forth the genes of the child and the future genes of your species, of your race. Of your ethnicity Of your humanity So Saying all this How did matter come into existence Well matter is essentially Based on What we refer to uh, Cymatics Uh, And cymatics In the structure of space itself um, Which is sound is what brought matter into existence. In the Vedic text, it tells us that the own sound is what was produced. And this is really what the quantum physicists are talking about, about 
the sound that they talk about, they, they refer to it as the Big Bang. But the sound is the ohm sound. Oh. And that sound vibrated throughout the universe. And still vibrated. Mm-hmm. So what we found out is that, right, so what we found out that when they talk about space, really, no point is more central than this, that empty space is not empty. It's the seat of the most violent physics, right? It's the seat of the most violent physics. And what we find out that we only know about 4 to 1% of all we know is matter, if you want to know the truth of it, shit, only about of the four percent that we just talked about that was left of what we see, you know, what we can um, out of the black matter and dark energy out of that. There's only about four percent, but even of that four percent, there's only about one percent all that we know that is matter. Okay, I'm going to sit down right there. <laughs> uh, All right, I'm just going to let you all think about what I just said. And that's the reason why Muslims tell you the 99 attributes of Allah, because there's only about 1% that you can actually experience. They're trying to tap you into the other 99%. Uh-oh. I haven't dealt with that one. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I'm just going to leave that right there. (laughs) (laughs) Because the only one that deals with that, uh, that one is the Sufi. Right, exactly. Exactly. Because you're definitely a Sufi. Well, so am I, for that matter. But, uh, you know... (laughs) And that's all, all combined to more science. Exactly. Even when you practice w- Wudao or, 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 or Yoruba, you know, that's more science. Exactly. Esoteric Christianity. Right, which is not the system. The esoteric Judaism is... Kabbalism, or Kabbalah. The mm. esoteric of Islam, like you said, is Sufism. And all three of those esoteric schools are derived from the higher mystery schools of ancient Kemet, Egypt, Tamaray, or Tamari. The Catholic Church downgraded it in order to make it to a one-world religion, or they refer to it Catholic or the Catholic. Catholicism, as they refer to it as, as being universal church, the universal church. But in order to make it universal, they had to leave out the esoteric principles and only make it exoteric so that you would worship something only outside of yourself so that they can continue gathering funds and payments for the external things that they produce. Mm -hmm. And anybody who reads the information concerning Martin Luther when he nailed the 98 Theses on the Wittenberg Church in the 1500s, verifies this, in which that produ- he produced, along with John Calvin, um, produced what become known as the Protestant movement, in which that we now get the Baptist, the Methodist, Public House Holiness, Jehovah's Witnesses, Seventh-day Adventists, so forth and so on. All right? So we have to come to realization of that... We really are in a world in which that is um, far beyond understanding, overstanding, understanding, and we have to begin to start coming to grips with what we can um, explain, and that way we can move on to the next level. Um, As a matter of fact, uh, physicists, um, I think astrophysicists or physicists, um, Michio Kokaku, Professor from out of um, New York, um, teaches at one of the universities there. I think it's Columbia. Um, but uh, he stated that there's five types of civilizations, 
and he said that we um that we that we are we are zero type and we barely oh. getting to one. And he said oh. that we're just getting to one. All right. Because we're still playing around with for you. We're still playing around with coal. These types of things. You know, when you know other advanced civilizations could have possibly, like I said, from out of the ones that we just made mention of. Remember, we we made mention that there could be you know, 24, you know, uh, shoot, 24 square 20 Earth-like planets in the universe. And that's just, and that's just this universe. They on the ancients. They say there's 144,000 universes, or 144, or at least that's the number that is used, 144 universes. You said 144? Right, right. The ancients used the term 144. Okay. So that would be related to the 144,000? Exactly. Would that be? Exactly. Okay. Right. Right, exactly. Because one plus four plus four comes to the number nine, in which that means to born or bring the thing to existence or to exist. You know? And that goes back to sound. Sound is what form geometrical shapes in which that, you know, it, it, it took the matter, which was produced by light, and formed, and sound formed it into a geometrical shape. We have circles, we have vesicle Pisces, we have um, equilateral triangles. We have pentagons. We have pentagrams. We have hexagons. Uh, uh, what is called the seven day of creation, the seed of life, the tree of life, the egg of life, the flower of life, the flower, uh, the fruit of life, Metatron cube. All these are what is called sacred geometry. Okay, and we know that man is formed of the six pointed star. Woman is formed off the five pointed star, and six and five comes together to form the number eleven, mm. which the word abracadabra, which has eleven numbers or eleven excuse me eleven letters in it. Abra, the word abracadabra has eleven letters in it, and it means to manifest. The word abracadabra mm. means to come forth or to manifest. So when the six and five, which is man and woman, which symbolizes um, magnetism and electric properties come together, they manifest or bring things into existence, whether it's a birthing through the womb or the birthing through the mind, which is also a womb. Hmm. Okay? Hmm. Now, right. now, how we know this? Because according to Dr. Um, Robert um, Becker, um, in his book, The Body Electric, which I have a copy of, good book, he states that the human body has an electrical frequency and that that much and, and that much about a person's health can be, 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 be actually be determined by it. He says that frequency is the measurement rate of the electrical energy flow that is con- constant between two points. Everything has frequency, and that's deep. Because when you're talking about the sound, you're talking about sound as frequency in which that formed geometrical shapes, in which that brought matter or utilized matter into forming the physical body into existence, in which that takes place within the womb of the triple stage darkness that we just talked about, or the triple stage darkness of space. And remember, space is most violent physics because what appears to be empty, because, matter of fact, this is a good book, um, ageless body, timeless. Um, I think ageless body, timeless mind, and by Deepak Chopra, he he wrote in that book that ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the atom is empty space, and only zero zero point zero 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 one percent actually is what we call solid. <laughs> All right. Listen to that one and that 99 ratio again, Brother L. <laughs> mm. So this goes into Dr. Warren Rice, 
who found that every disease has a frequency. He has found that certain frequencies can prevent the development of disease and that others will destroy diseases. So substances of higher frequencies will destroy diseases of lower frequencies. And so people don't realize that the human body, various parts have frequencies. The brain uh, frequency range is between 72 to 90 hertz, megahertz. Hmm. Right? The human body itself is 62 to 78 megahertz. You know, um, the, what they refer to as the, um, the seven chakras or endocrine glands, these are nothing more than um, what they call chakras are nothing more than your endocrine glands, which works off these various frequencies. Like your thyroid and parathyroid glands is 62 to 68 megahertz. Your thymus gland is 65 to 68 megahertz. Your heart is 67 to 70 megahertz. You know, your pancreas is 60 to 80 megahertz. So these are your chakra points. Even the lungs is 58 to 65 megahertz. Your liver is 55 to 60 megahertz. Disease starts at 58 megahertz. Okay? A person who's receptive to cancer, that's at 42 megahertz. And death begins at 25 megahertz. So we are actually a magnetic electric cellular wave being. That way we know how to heal ourselves a lot better than some of these doctors and hospitals. Exactly. Because you are the universe. Right, right. Because you are the universe expressing itself as a human for a little while. I'm going to leave that right there. All right, so let me explain how the universe works before I go any further. So we just we we already determined that man is mind. As a matter of fact, um, when you look up man in some of the old dictionaries, it would tell you, like in the Oxford Dictionary, it would tell you that man means thinker or he who thinks. In other words, the the mind. So man didn't have anything to do with do originally with gender. It had to do with the mind. So man is mind. Just like the Bible tells you that man fell from heaven for forty for forty years, and the Egypt and the um Israelites had to, or the Hebrew Israelites had to eat this manna for forty years. Well, that was symbolic actually to. The manifold from heaven is actually what is called prana. Prana. Mana is a form of prana, which is that chi or key energy that they had to eat for 40 years. In other words, to obtain um, perfect balance with nature. This is why um, the ancient Egyptians taught from the age of 7 to the age of 47, that 40-year period of the ancient mystery school. All right, I'm going to leave right. that right there. All right, I'm going to leave that right there. All right, I know I'm going deep for y'all tonight, but, you know, this is just a prelude to what you're going to experience this week if you bring your ass to the lecture in Dallas, <laughs> Texas. All right? Just a prelude. I ain't even get prelude. nowhere. But, right, right, I ain't even get nowhere yet. This is nothing compared to what I really know. And then people be trying to dumb me down from this shit. Be like, brother, you be going too deep. I'm like, nigga, please. <laughs> they make their head hurt. <laughs> right. And I'm like, this makes your head hurt? Well, goddamn. You don't want to know the rest then, do you? <laughs> <laughs> be like that horse, Mr. Ed, back in there. Oh, no, you don't want to know the rest, do you? <laughs> And the FBI know that right. too. So, so, okay. Right, 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 right. Exactly. But I'm going to give everybody the opportunity 
you know, if you got any questions, give us a call. You know, give us a call, 626-414-3535. That's 626-414-3535. Give us a call. We are going into the last hour. And, of course, if you got any questions about anything that I'm saying, give me a call. Let's talk about it. Anyway, <laughs> as I was getting ready to say, um, let's say, because we're talking about universes, so what happens at the end of this universe? Because scientists or quantum physicists tell you that there's a contraction and an expansion of the, of the universe. And they say that now, in other words, the universe breathes. It's like you breathe. You inhale and you exhale. But what happens when there's no more contraction? Mm. What happens? Of course, contraction means to pull. Expansion means to push. That's that being that the end of life. Uh oh. So that means universe is in too, don't they, brother L? That's right. No uh-huh. more life. Mm. Brother L, that might be the reason why we only see about one percent of matter up to four percent because that's about all that's left. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. I'm gonna leave that <laughs> right there. All right. So look, at the end of the previous universe, our ancestors expanded their mind beyond measure until they encompass their whole universe. We are going to have to do the same thing. This is why we have to get beyond the prejudice, the sexes, and all these types of limitations that we have. Right. Because it's that process of expansion caused an apparent contraction of their universe until it was reduced to a size of a single planet. Hence that single atom that they talk about in which that came forth the Big Bang. So the universe was not reduced in reality, but when the mind is expanded, it appears as if the universe is contracting. And this is what is going on now. This is why they're trying to stop this contraction from taking place. So the apparent contraction of the universe was not followed by a big bang or any other kind of explosion, as they say, but be, but because of what I just stated, this is what it appeared to have happened. So this is what they mean by big bang, just like sexually when you have sex and you ejaculate or orgasm, that's what they call a big bang. So it was followed by a contraction of or what we call a condensation. Yeah, let me say that. It was followed by a condensation process. You know, we're part of the expanded mind condensed into stages in the empty space surrounding the new earth, which is one of these earths that we just told you about, 24 square, you know, 24 square um, 20, which created the seven substances. Right, which created mm-hmm. the seven substances, the word we refer to as magnetism, electricity, light, heat, mm-hmm. sound, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which eventually formed new stars, you know, after many trillions of years. So we're doing nothing but playing the same thing over and over again. And you know this, if you really just tap into your full being of self, is that you've done this before. Everything that we're doing now is on such a small level, our minds are so minute now. But since space itself is a substance, what fills space? Well, that's prana. It means that the mind creates space at the same time it occupies the very same space. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Stars are condensations. Stars are condensations of the mind. Uh Uh-oh, I'm going to say that again. Stars are condensation of the mind of our ancestors who came from the previous universe. Uh-uh. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 shit. I'm going to say that again. Stars are the condensation of the mind of our ancestors who came from the previous universe. And you are an nothing more than a, right, and you are nothing more than a product of, that, of those stars in human form. This is why scientists say that you are more than 90% what? Stardust material. So they increased their own minds by expansion, which simultaneously created the creation to increase as well. 
And this is how God and God has increased his self in creation to make itself eternal or to produce eternity. The universe is eternal and infinite, creating and recycling back into itself over and over again. It's that's similar to how the image of the um, um, magnetosphere works on planet Earth. If you just do some study on the magnetosphere, that would give you the understanding and understanding the understanding of what I'm just talking about. So the universe is a circle that has no beginning or end. This is what the symbol of the Aurora Boreas, which is the serpent biting its tail, is, especially if you study the Theosophical um, Society's um, information by Madeline Bavaski, which I know that's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> better leave that alone, Eileen. <laughs> right, right. You better leave that alone, nigga. So constantly, <laughs> so, so the universe is constantly... Um, emitting material in life and constantly recycling it. So this is what we mean by um, reincarnation or incarnation. You live before, you live again. Because the universe recycles itself in that way over and over again until it goes into the next universe. And then it starts it there over and over again. So there is no such thing as death. This is what the ancients... Keep telling you. All right. All right. Now, now when they talk about the uh, uh, the serpent biting his tail, they, they actually in which is actually a condensing process used. Uh, the process called the serpentination. The serpentination, which creates strongly, it, it, it says create strongly reduced. Conditions and produce fluids that are highly enriched in molecular hydrogen and methane. And um, it says some microorganisms are able to ex- exploit these compounds to gain metabolic, um, metabolic energy and to generate biomass, leading to the development of bi- Biological communities based on chemical energies rather than photosynthesis. All right? The abundance of chemical energy and favorable conditions for organisms synthesized make serpentinites, serpentinites a strong candidate for the site of the origin of life on Earth, as well as a prime target in the search for life elsewhere in our solar system. Serpentinites, Hydrogen, and Life, which is a book written by Thomas M. McCollum. Now, that, that was, that's deep because he's telling you yeah. that through the serpent biting his tail process, which is called the serpentization or the serpentinites, that this is how actually life got here, through the first element, which is hydrogen, which you were taught this in grade school, actually, you know, sixth grade. In science class, the yeah. first element of the particle chart is hydrogen. Well, you might, might have been taught it before that. Nowadays, they were dropping it then in the sixth grade. Right, so, right, right. So those transmutations of matter, right, right. So those transmutations of matter were all based on the electrons exchanges with other protons. But the electrons is never destroyed. Well, guess what? Scientists found out that electrons circle in a 360-degree circle. They circle. And when they appear to end the 360-degree rotation, obviously they rotate in another 360-degree rotation, which goes unseen. It then pops back into existence in a... 360 degree rotation that they can see So this is where the concept Of 720 degrees comes from Hence the square and the circle The circle right. meaning Spiritual Spiritual And the physical Being The square So when Masons say stand on your square They come out stand on the foundation Stand on your physical existence Be a man mm-hmm. you know, Speak the truth you know, because you have a physical body, but also square that circle, you know, 
uh, um, or how they say, Brother L, not square the circle, um, um, polish off the um, the square, or something they say. Oh, yeah, they uh, talk about the uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, square off the uh, the rough edges. Right, square off the rough edges. What, what do that mean? That means to make a circle. 360 square is the same as the 360 circle, but the square symbolizes the physical condition. The circle symbolizes the spiritual. That's when so you have the you triangular and the circle. The, the triangular right. inside the circle. Yeah, okay, I got you. Yeah. Right, and the triangles and the triangle symbolizes the manifestation. Because the number three symbolizes that which manifests. That's why within the Golden Dawn, their rituals is based on three. As well as any magic system. It's based on three. You was taught in school, one, two, three. You was taught A, B, C. You was taught solid, liquid, and gas. Everything was based on three. So eventually we can get the humans that are billions of lifetimes cycles of the electrons interchanged into other life forms. The Vedic tells us that it took 8.7 million lifetimes to reach the human condition. And at that point, our souls manifest our human bodies. I'll say that again. The Vedic text tells us that it takes 8.7 million lifetimes to reach the human condition. And that at that point, our soul, our souls manifest our human bodies. So really, man is made up of a, of, of a procession of phantoms, which we refer to as your physical body, your ethereal body, your emotional body, your mental body, your causal body, and your soul body. You, you're a multidimensional being. Okay. All right, I, I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to go to the phone line. <laughs> you know, I'm, I might have been going too far, but we're going to find out in a minute. All right? <laughs> All right, we got Erico 843. Erico 843, you're on the line. Islam, Islam, greetings, Doc. How are you? Islam, Islam, Islam. greetings. Peace, peace, peace. How you doing? All right, and to you, Brother, I forgot your name. I apologize, but I salute you and say greetings to you also. Okay, peace, God. Yeah, uh, Doc, I was sitting in the garage with some friends a little while ago, man, and we were talking about how far we descended as man, just exactly what you speak to, and that's why I had to press one. You know, and right. uh, we need to get back to nature and he said, like, you know, I'm in the South, man, and I guess I'm about an hour and a half from Columbia, right? Okay, right. So just just like what you're speaking to, man, where we are right now and where our ancestors were, the Kenites and so forth, if, we stood, if I stood on a highway, I still couldn't see them if they were in Columbia. And they're, and they're, further, they're further down the road than Columbia, you know, than, than an hour's drive. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we, we were speaking right. on if we got back to nature, you know, just like what you were speaking on as far as electricity. Our best remedy for healing is our mind and uh, herbs and, you know, food, you know, live right. food. So that's about exactly. getting back to nature. And uh, at, at one time, you know, I don't know how far that breatharian science goes or how old it is. Right. But, um, Mm-hmm. You know, to our very existence, because the breath is prana. It's, it's to our very existence, because breath is prana. You know, breath is the physical counterpart of the mind. So, thus, I mean, breath is the mind in action. You know, that's that's really what's going on. So, breath is prana, and breath is the physical counterpart of the mind. So, when I talk about the breath, I'm talking about the mind too, because it's the physical counterpart to the mind. So, thus, when we breathe. You know, we take in prana, it feeds the mind. It expands our consciousness. It makes us geniuses. So mm. thus, you know, um, breath is the mind in action. All right? That's why you, you learn how to breathe properly. You control the mind, as I stated earlier. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, and what you're speaking to, it just brought me back to, uh, I forgot the name of this show. It was in the 70s. Was it called It's Amazing or It's a Miracle? Not It's a Miracle. Uh, it's That's hard incredible. to believe or something. There you go. You okay. know exactly where I'm going. Remember that yogi? He was like seven feet tall. Yeah. He got into that that yep. uh, crystal crystal cube man, and he brought his his yep. heart rate down to like one beat a minute. Exactly. Yep. Wow. He stayed in that cube for hours. So it did. That's right. That's right. So we definitely, we I guess we need to get that vibration back up, man, because that's what I was saying. Just like that Jay Rogers book, that is Superman to man, we need to go back from man back to Superman because, you know, that's what time it is. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. That's all, that's I, okay, cool. that's all I wanted. Uh-huh. All right, I appreciate you. I thank you for coming on. Yeah, I appreciate you, God. Thank- we're oh, one. Yeah. We're one. At this Indeed. What All right. All right, Joe. Um, let me see. Um, let's go to the chat room. I am the universe is building hard up in here. Let me let me see. What's, let's let's go through some of this conversation. Okay. I um I am the universe I disagree and um I am the universe I am no Gentile and I'm not saying the Gentile, I'm just talking about how it means or relates to the word genitals. We do have genitals, I am the universe. So <laughs> let's not bypass that. The word Gentile is based on the word genitals. All right? Which is talking about your genes. And um and I understand um that the till part of the gene Genital or gentile, tau, means divide, part or split or separate. And I got you. I feel you. In which that, that's why the Jews, or the, I should say the Jewish people, because um, they're not the Jews, the Hebrews or the Israelites, but they say the Gentiles are the Gohim. All right? And the word Gohim means cattle or animal. So I understand that um, completely. Um, um, so. Yes, I will try to remember that the next time. I am the universe. Don't worry. I, I mean, um, remember, I'm going up the top of the head here, so um, right. everything is come out perfectly um, every time, all right? Yeah. So you can cut me a little slack once in a while here. Um, right. I'm doing the best I can. But, of course, I can bring you on, and you can be the third co-host, and we can get it in. Right. right? So um, that's uh, no the problem. problem to the esoteric science. Going into the oh, esoteric yeah. Oh, yeah. science, or what, 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 what I call the occult right, science, right. but people get spooked right. out when right. I say that. So I say esoteric right. And science. I'm only, and I'm, right, and I'm only using the language in which that people use in order that they can understand. They want to go and get deeper into um, the breakdown. They can get my book, First World Order, which I break everything that you were talking about actually down in the almost the exact same way. Or fashion. Yes, you do. Um, you do. But, but I... Right, I can't think of everything. I don't have my book next to me in order to go into all of that. Right now, I'm going off the top, and I'm trying to express it the best way, you know. So, um, okay, dramatic, the word Gentile is dramatic. Um, let me see, what else we got here? We got that there's no concept of death in ancient Kemet, exactly, and that's exactly what we're talking about. The reincarnation is the world warriors, right? It is, and I agree. Um, that's why I was going with that. Um, and of course, as above, so below, son is um, son of man, whatever human is, and human is not necessarily man. Are you human, or are you human, or man? All right, that's a good question. I'm gonna leave that for the um, audience to um, come to a conclusion on, because I've heard it broken down several ways. Um, Doctor um, Deborah Blair used to break down human as human, meaning to come from the soil, from the ground. You know. Um, you know, um, in that regard, you know, um, hue is also give play to color, you know, um, colored man. But of course, we know that based on the teachings of Honor Belize Muhammad, that the colored man is the white man, um, you know, which happened to be, um, Brother L, which, um, what's that? I think that's this, um, that's right after. 
um, the mm-hmm. question is asked about, you know, about um, who's the original man? Right. You know, who's the, who's the original oh, man? Who's the, um, right, who's the original man? The original man is the Asiatic black man. They're making the owner of the cream of planet Earth off the civilization God of the universe. And then they ask you, well, who's the colored man? You know, so, <laughs> you know, um, I won't get into that because the difference within the 5% teachings on nation God of the Earth as well as also within the nation Islam. Nation right, Islam is. as in the words. Right, the nation of Islam added in the word skunk. However, the word skunk is not added into um, the nation of God's nerve for what is known as the Father Center. All right, so, um, all right, I am the universe said that there is no one correct answer in regard to human. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. Um, there's different schools break it down differently. Um, but, once again, what we can agree on, you know, that. Uh, we are descended from the ancient Hemites, which would be the Dogon, which would be the Mandi or Mandinka people, which is the Olmecs, mm-hmm. um, who are called the Negas, um, which is from the ancient mystery school. And the word Nega within Hebrew means carpenters, hence the builders or the Freemasons. Um, you know, um, the original Freemasons, that is, the ones that um, were spoken of specifically by uh, Man, God, and Civilization, written by um, John G. Jackson, mm-hmm. in which that he breaks down that the ancient mystery school, those builders or fraternal builders were known as the Negas, um, or those Negas were actually known as um, Freemasons, but it was not spelled F-R-E-E-M-A-S-O-N-S. It was spelled P H R E M. A or E S S E N S, all right, or U. Um, so um, he was going back to the ancient Kemetic or Tamarian spelling of Freemason as it means a child of Ra, all right, and we all the children of Ra. As a matter of fact, um, if you go into the book, The Evolution of Ra, The Rise and Evolution of Ra, which is part of what we now call the Open up the mouth ceremony, the coming forth by day and night, or light and shadow. Um, was misnomed by E.A. Um, e. Wallace Budge as the Book of the Dead. In that book, he specifically states um, that that we, so-called humans, all right. So and okay, here, um, I am the universe. Is that he was created by the Vatican? The word human was created by the Vatican. Indeed. Respect. All right. Um, but let's get back to that. All right. They use the word human, so we just say man. So, mm-hmm. and man has no gender, like we said. Um, we talk about specifically what? The mind. mind. Right. Right. You are a walking thought form, a living thought form, a breathing thought form. And remember, we told you that breath, is the mind in action, all right? Breath is the physical counterpart of the mind, just like your melanin is the physical counterpart of the spiritual soul. I'm going to leave that right there. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, um, Ra created man by way of his tears, all right? This is what the text states, that man was created by the tears of Ra. The word Misram, which was the original, the Hebrew name of Egypt, is where the name Muslim or Muslim comes from. But then the belief system of our Islam. But originally, Misram or meant born from the tears of Ra. It did not mean what we now know it as or mean within Arabic as it is now. It means one of peace or one who surrenders or one who submits. That right. is not what it meant. It meant originally Misraum, which was the original name of Egypt or the Hebrew name of Egypt, meant one born from the tears of Ra. In other words, humans. This is what, this is what um, Brother Todd is talking about that um, 
a man is muscle, muscle tissues. You know, when he breaks that down, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, because we were taught that the men, one who submits to the will of Allah, you know. Right, that's what we were taught, them. right. Right, they so Muslims. They don't go no further than that. No, they don't go no further than that because they believe that they have, have it all. You know, and any religion who believes that is falsely mistaken. As mm-hmm. I clearly proved tonight in just the synopsis and the information that we broke down here. That this is vast, so vast that most minds can't even comprehend what we're talking about here. Right. If you can, then yo, you need to. It's time to build. All right. Um, because this is who we need to be talking with. You know, those who can't quite understand, understand, understand what we talked about here tonight. You know, um, I'm gonna get more into it at the lecture. Like I said, Dallas, Texas, this weekend. That's this weekend. All right? All right? Did you, did you, you get that? That's this weekend. That's that's did, November the 5th, Saturday. November the 5th, this Saturday. With, it's going to be at the, the Active uh, Change. Mm-hmm. It's going to be at the Active Change, 3200 Lancaster Road, Suite 623, 60, or 623-623. Dallas, Texas, 75216. At the act of change, that's where we're going to have it at. All right, advanced tickets are $25. Come on out and get some of this good information. Mm-hmm. Um, we're also going to be doing practices of showing you how to absorb prana and chia key energy, how to do it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the, the word Asiatic black man, uh, uh, the word Asiatic, and what do the right, Asiatic right. mean, you know, uh, black right. man, black, black. Okay, go to the, those. Those are the adjectives, but uh, they go deeper than that. You know, then you said, right. uh, "Who's the color man? Color man is a white man." Well, you can go deep with that too. See, it, exactly. it goes a whole lot deeper than that than what they think it does. Exactly. And it doesn't actually right. mean that. What they think right, it means. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. But once again, for y'all to. Get some of this good info. Saturday, November the 5th, that's this weekend, this Saturday coming up. The event opens at 4 p.m. and lasts till 7 p.m. Come and get three hours of the most potent information that you ever heard. Just some of what we're demonstrating here tonight. This is just a little bit. I promise you, this is just a little. This is only like the first 10 slides. This is this is nothing. <laughs> All right? Um, this is going to be at the act of change. 3200 Lancaster Road, Suite 630, um, 623, 623, Dallas, Texas, 75216. Um, call Sister Frances Webb. Her number is 817-495-5666. That's 817-495-5666. All right, give her a call. You know, get these tickets popping, all right? Um, all right, we're going to go to area code 205. Area code 205, you on the line. Dr. Elaine Bay. Peace. Peace, <laughs> much love, much love, much love, peace, peace. This is my first time on here, and I came in late. I, have, I guess you can hear my children in the background. I'm actually doing a, a, a project right now as we're speaking. But um, okay. I came in kind of late. I came in kind of late, and I didn't get much. Information. I just wonder what what are you what what is this discussion about tonight? Um, we talking about the manifest the manifestation of God and um, okay. how God, you know, which is mind, manifested mm-hmm. as your mind, which formed your body into existence. The mind is equivalent to prana, which is equivalent to the breath. Which is what we mm-hmm. call centrifugal and centrifugal force, which holds your okay, and I caught together. you. Okay, mm-hmm. and I caught you mentioning something about breath. What do you recommend right. for a beginner? Um, I just claimed my nationality this year, and so I'm trying to get all that I possibly can for myself and my children. So, right. what do you what do you recommend for us? My breathing. How? Where? Where do I start to right. get that? Where right. it should be. Right. There's two books I recommend. One is my book, mm-hmm. which is called Out of the Out of the Womb, Enter the Mind. Out of okay. the Womb, Enter the Mind. 
the other is my teacher's, my grandmaster teacher's book, which is, um, his book is called Jewel in the Lotus. Jewel in okay, the Lotus. Okay, give me, give me one second. I'm about to write that down. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Give me your book again. It's what now? Out, out of, of the, the womb. Out of the, out of the womb. Inner. Uh-huh. Enter the uh, inner the mind. So out of O U T E R the mind. Mm-hmm. Inner I N N E R. All right. So out of the womb into the mind. Okay. Another mm-hmm. book. It's on our. It's on our. Right. It's on our website. And the other one is my grandmaster teaches. And his book is called Jewel in the Lotus. Jewel, J E W E L in the Lotus, L O T U S. Spell that last part for me again. Lotus, L O T U S. Lotus. Okay, Lotus, L O T U S. T U S. T U S. Okay, okay. And his name is what now? Sanyata Saraswati. Sanyata, S U N Y A T A. Sanyata. Saraswati, mm-hmm. S-A-R-A-S-W-A-T-I. Okay. Now, I, um, mm-hmm. okay, I was, um, you were brought to me through um, a friend of mine. She said she spoke with you and your wife maybe about a week or two ago. Her name was Jay from Birmingham from the 205 area code. Do you remember yes. sp- mm-hmm. speaking to her? Okay, yes. yeah. So yes. she... She um, brought me onto your website, and I've been watching your videos on YouTube, and I just have so much, so much love and appreciation for what you do. So oh, much thank love. You, thank you. Appreciate you. So, thank but you. I'm going to um, stay tuned on, and I'll be here on Wednesday. So, yeah, I'm going to get these okay. books. So, this this would, this would is this would get me started for my breathing, for what I should do. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Great. Yep. Great. Okay, well, I'm here, so whenever I need to ask you something, what do I just press one to get back into the queue? Yep, just press one, get back into the queue. All right, sweetie, thank you so much. All right, peace, guys. All right, peace. 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 All right, we got area code 404, area code 404, you're on the line. It's on, Nova. It's on, it's on, it's on. Peace. It's on. Yes, uh, I was actually calling uh, in reference. Uh, it's, it's really not really pertaining overall to what the discussion was today, but primarily it's, it's pertaining to the, the the waking up, I guess, of, of the being, a knowledge of that self, and how the universe is awakening awakening many people. And I'm speaking of the uh, the pipeline that is laid in Wisconsin and Montana. How the Indians stepping up now. You know, putting their PTs down, saying they're not, you know, they're not going to move. They're going to stay there. You're not going to put this pipe, you know, under, I guess, under Mother Nature to destroy her from the inner level out. And they proclaiming their nationality. And what I'm getting at, it was an interview on MSBC with an Indian. And he was proclaiming his nationality and things like that. And I just, I just wonder, I'm wondering right now why we don't have no one to come out to the forefront and represent us. Oh, we like have. On, the, on the global level, or, or being interviewed by some of the some of the massive, some of the biggest, I guess, media networks, while they're not holding, I guess, interviews with us and broadcasting them worldwide, like they're doing the Indian with the pipeline. I'm just right. asking. Well, number one, brother, um, um, that's why we still got all this writing to be done. Um, Prophet Nibir Ali stated that in order to change the minds of the people, we have to change their literature. So when we talk about the literature, that's where this going to have to come from. Um, myself, brother um, Hakeem Bay, um, brother Taj, Tyreek Bay, and others have written dozens and dozens and dozens of books so that we can begin to start changing the mind of our people. Once they have come into a collective, then we can move forward like that. Right now, we're still trying to get to know each other. We don't have a culture. So we're having to redefine a people's culture. The Native Americans, or who we call the Indians, they have a culture. They, They have a language. They have a history. 
a heritage, so they know who they are, much more so than we do. So this is why we still have to learn who we are to get back that appreciation, you know. And so then we can move forward in that capacity. When I've been to the United Nations, we've talked um, um, in front of delegates from other nations. I've been there personally since 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010. Right. You know, so I've been on the world scene, on on the world stage, um, talking to um, other nations, other indigenous um, people. So I can tell you, you know, that this is happening. You know, what people know or what not people know. This information is getting out. You know, and as long as we keep getting out, there will be changes that we have to take place. Because the first thing I think I had to learn is the science of law. Because we the ones that wish that is the law is not working for. The law is not working for us. And we can see that because of the mass incarcerations in this nation. Right. There's more people locked up in just some, in the United States than Germany, than France, Spain. China and Japan all together combined. We talking about over two million people locked up, and more than sixty five percent of them are us. So their whole mass incarceration, which a sister Alexander, um, her name is um um. Um, Sister Alexander, she wrote in her Jim Crow book, the new Jim Crow book, <laughs> that this is the nonsense that is taking place. That this is the new Jim Crow is mass incarceration. So we have to know the law to even begin to start developing culture so that we won't be up under the laws as far as stressed and oppressed, depressed, suppressed while we are trying to gather knowledge of self and move forward as a people. You can't do that, you know, um, um, if you stress out, oppressed, depressed, you know, suppressed. You can't move forward as a people like that. And right now we, we, uh, we, we're in a state of war, knowing, knowingly or not. Solid weapons for a quiet war is what, what it's called. Get the book, Behold a Pell Horse by William Cooper. He, he shows you the documents, you know, that they have concerning this. Quiet weapons for silent wolves, you know. So this is the thing that's taking place. We just have to get our heads right. I totally right. agree with you. We have to start, you know, doing for self. We have to start being more, um, you know, more self-determined. You know, we have to. We have no choice. No, as, as the Washington, we are recognized. Uh, uh, by what I don't know about 144 nations that is, or I can't remember. Right. All over the world. Right. 144. That's it, brother. 144. That's a nation, and we do have a language uh, that we speak. We have a flag, a national flag, the Washita flag, the red or the red, black, green flag with the yellow, uh, the bird, uh, falcon, you know, on our phoenix, you know, coming out of the fire. Or the ashes, or a, re, a, a nation reborn. That's us. You know, we we have our own names, our own uh, what we call Appala- free appellations, our free national names. Uh, we know what our names mean. You know, we know who we are. You know, you know the Aboriginal, Indigenous, Autochthonous people, Americans of North America. You know, that's what we have a belonging. We have a connection. You know, the thing is. We need to have more that be on the line with us, you know, because the majority of our people is the one that's holding us back. That's the problem. It's long. It's long to that. And, and I agree, and, and I'm not, and, and I love what, what Dr. Alam Il Bay is doing. I love his demonstration. I follow him to read uh a sheer duplicate is like I'm I'm on it, I'm on it. And you guys are putting down the best demonstration possibly can be done at the time of our attack and the time of awakening at the same time. But I'm just I'm just kinda of toe in between the two that 
all this information seem like it's so you know I'm I'm all claiming my nationality. So I'm gonna tell you what went on. I called my birth certificate. They gave me the runaround. I called the uh, I called the state capital. They gave me the runaround. So then I I called back the next week and I had to reword what I said. So what I ended up telling them I'm like I ordered my birth certificate, but y'all you guys sent it to me the wrong way. I was trying to get authenticated. And then once I said that, it was like a five second like quietness on the phone. Then she said, oh, well, take this number down. But if I wasn't persistent about it and coming from different angles, they will, they wouldn't have told me nothing about it. They was acting like they ain't know nothing about it. So that's another thing, like people playing games with this information like that. Right. And, of course. And, you know, like but I said, that really leaves us as the people that's trying to find right, that growth. Bro. And, you know, you like I said, bro, they're making money. They make a money off of this. We'll put people in prison. They don't want their capital to wake up. All right? They don't want their cattle or chattel to wake up. The cattle probably to wake up and not be bored for the state. They don't want that. Makes sense. I guess it interfered with their infrastructure. Right. Hey, bingo, you got it. So, of course, they will want to keep you deaf, dumb, and blind and play those games because they don't want you to wake up and to eat those cells and be able to do it through, through a knowledge of even in the middle as you can go That makes sense. Well, thank you for helping. All right, bros. We appreciate you. Thank you, All right, bro. A lot, brother. And you guys, you guys take care. Peace. 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 All right, we got area code eight six eight four three. Area code eight four three. You're on the air. Uh, greetings, brother. This is uh brother Eddie Gay. I was on earlier. I just wanted to say. Uh, the family definitely needs to check out your archive, just like it is you on Wednesdays, but there's still six other days. And um, the brother that's on with you, I mean, he was kicking some serious science yesterday about uh, who we are. You know, was that yesterday, brother, when you were talking about all those books? And oh, that, that was last week. That was last wow. last Wednesday. Yes, yes, brother. Thank you. Right, last Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Oh man! Oh man! You know, I mean, I forgot to say when I chimed in earlier. I I told so many people about that information because um, that was so powerful. And, and just like y'all do, man, y'all y'all give books, you know, for people to do their own research. And we need to start acquiring these books because, of course, our children aren't always obedient to the truth in this light because of their friends and you know the youthful monkey books. Well, Excuse me for that. The youthful, high-energy mind, disregard that monkey foolishness. I don't know where that came from. I guess I'm eating too much candy today. Um, All right, brother. Yeah, but that library is so, so, so important, you know what I'm saying, because sooner or later, you know, they're going to start questioning the illusion and this foolishness. And if you got them books on the shelves, man, you know, that's worth more than gold, especially today. Oh yeah, you know, indeed. So, so That's the, true. So the family, the family really needs to check out the archives. And uh, brother Ali, I wanted to ask you, um, mm-hmm. what do you think about those two mushrooms, the blue and white one and the red and white one? Because we was also talking about the doors today, and that dude was talking about some serious information, you know, from that movie. Um, White Boys, I forgot the name of that movie, but the name of the group was The Doors, and they basically coined right. that name because of different portals, mm-hmm. you know. Right, 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 right. Um, right, yeah, the, the group The Doors, the musical group The Doors. Um, right, but as far as those two mushrooms, though, uh, the red and white, right. are you familiar with them? The red and white mushroom, right, that is the psychedelic uh, mushroom that is used in order to produce more DMT or penoline, which is produced from the pineal gland, which normally is only produced um, at our birth and normally during the time of our death. 
the last excretions of it is producing the body to be to release the electron transmissions along with the vapor, which is the breath uh, from the body upon the last breath. Um, what we really is talking about is forms of melanin, just like melatonin and serotonin, except these are not just produced during, you know, night or daytime. Melatonin, as we know, is produced during the hours of 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. in the morning. 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night is serotonin. So we see that DMT um, and penoline is actually is supposed to be produced not just at times of life and death, but also throughout your life. And these particular mushrooms or um, shrooms or uh, other psychedelic types of drugs help to activate that within you, help to open you up, whether it's ayahuasca, um, marijuana, or tapping after your booger um, plant, the booger plant, uh, or evoca plant. Uh, these are just different things that can help with that, you know. So that's what I think about it. Um, it can help uh, for those who need the help and, you know, need to um, open themselves up quickly. You know, they just have to prepare themselves for that type of um, door, as, as you just finished talking about. <laughs> yeah, you talking about Jim Morrison. Um, he was the leader of the doors or the singer, leader there you singer go. of the doors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, um, in so many ways, the information is right in front of us, but because we choose not to use our eyes to see, even if it's our first eye, we miss it. Just like what the brother was talking about. Just like what y'all speak on, man. That movie, National Treasure, tells you, you know, who the original mm-hmm. people are. Because cause where did they get all of that money from, all of those, you know, Camite statues and all of that? Those That was a loan. Right. Land grant and all of that science is right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. exactly. And, they show you the, and they show you the OMEC um, head and stuff as they was going in. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that was in part two, specifically in part two. And um, I went also, uh, let me go back to the um, to the room here. Um. I am the universe is dropping it in the back, and so I want to get some of this in. Um, he says prisoners actually produce things. Of course, prisoners, um, prisoners are labor camps, and also prisons actually produce components for defense for the de- um, defense industry. Yep, that's true. Prisoners don't get an inmate number for nothing. All right, and um, also stated on the mushrooms said they call AKA Santa Claus. That's what they also call. Um, um, the red and white that, Right, the red and white ones um, It's the most recognizable mushroom on the planet And is widely known as a um, hallucin- um, hallucinate Or what is called shrooms, like I said earlier um, it, They call it a mushroom um, They call it, um, these mushrooms also is called Santa Claus And um, oh, and, and he broke it down too That it's responsible for um, Alex trip into Wonderland <laughs> so um, exactly. remember right and remember and also possibly our beloved image of the red nose or red on um, uh, red nose of reindeers or the flying reindeers too of um of of the red suit of Santa Claus or the red and white suit of Santa Claus. Mm. Um um Maneti um excuse me, Manet Manita. It's called Manita I'm a, I'm um Amanita um, right. Muscaria. I remember. That's what it's called. Go. Muscaria. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the name of it. Um, as um, as I am the universe puts here and and breaks it down. So thank you for that. And um, hold up, hold up, Doc. But see the blue one. They only mm-hmm. show that blue one is out of the dung from a certain animal in Africa, and the pharaohs and and those. Uh, High vibrating people in Kemet use that one, just like the the scarab beetle. That's why he takes that dung down into his hole because eventually he knows that mushroom is going to come up there. And the only rendition right, right. of that of that on TV, besides um, what was the name of that movie with the damn people? Uh, well, let me just go here well, with the Smurfs. The Smurfs well, the, right, the Smurfs, were right, and the Hebrews. The Hebrews used to wear the mushroom cap too. 
I'm going to say that. The Hebrews or the Israelites, or the, who was known as the Leviticus priests, used to wear the mushroom mm-hmm. caps. You know, and that's where the mushroom caps come from. As well as the mushroom caps, so it's that you see um, the cooks um, use, um, who are um, the kind of seer cooks, you know, uh, uh, you know, the French cooks in them, they wear the mushroom cap too, you know, because um, food can be an ecstasy. You know, that's what that is symbolic too. But, yeah, I got you. Right, the Smurfs. Go ahead, bro. And, and that blue goes back to that uh Melanin and uh, melanin also, but um, there was a movie that came out. There was one dude who was somewhat like the leader. He had like a potato sack on his face, and it looked like the energy in the in the potato sack was moving around. Mm-hmm. And then there was this other guy who was blue, and he had I think a white spot over his first eye. And he was around during certain wars, and they used his energy to stop the wars. I can't remember the name of that movie, but he was blue, just like that mushroom. And when I seen him, that's the first thing that came to my mind. Um, This brother told me he's seen in a book that the columns in, I think, the Temple in Dendera, man, on the very top of the columns, there are mushrooms on each one of those columns. It is. It is. That's true. And I'm just gonna say this before I go before I go to mute, man. Uh, that's another reason why I recommend that the family just keep visiting your archives, man. Because you put out y'all, you brothers put out so much information so fast, man. It's like, yo, if you're not on that vibration and if you're not uh, harmonized with this information, man, you'll miss more than you retain. <laughs> I'm serious. You miss more than you retain. Oh yeah. You did a lecture in Columbia, man, last year. I'm still, right. uh, you know, eating that good food, brother. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you both for being you, and we are one. Thank you, God. I appreciate you. Yes. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I'm gonna try to get back down into the Sphinx call too. Um, I'm gonna call brother Seku and see if we can get something else popping down there. Yeah, that's what time it is. I, I'm I'm going to speak to him about it myself, brother, because we do need some more of that information. I'm, I'm serious. I thank you for being your doc. Thank you. Peace, brother. Thank you. Peace, brother. Peace. All right, brother Peace. L, we uh, is we coming down to the close. What you got to say? This this is the this is the closer here. Okay, brother. I, I said we did it again. Uh, oh, right, it's a pleasure right. working with you, brother. Dealing with you. Oh, oh, yeah, same here, bro. Same here. Appreciate you. you know, I'm still planning on getting down there in April, March, whatever. Right. And, okay. And, and and as you hear, Brother L, um, you know, you, you know, you're getting some good feedback for these shows that you've been doing here. You know, you yeah, I didn't know. Here, I, so. I, I, I didn't know it. Yeah. So I'm glad they're yeah, telling yeah. me this. Yeah, yeah. So keep up the good work. You know, they loving it. You know, yeah, let thank me go you, back to the back room right Oh, yeah. Let me go to the back room right quick. I am the universe is still writing. The doc, the mushroom is sex. I might send you something in regard to the mushroom being male and female, hence intercourse. All right. I just want to put that out there. As we said tonight, we're going to put that right there, you know. Um, And, of course, once again, um, we want everybody to come out to our lecture. Our lecture will be, once again, in Dallas, Texas, this weekend, November the 5th. All right, November 5th, November 5th, 2016. That's this Saturday, this Saturday, all right? Um, we open at 4 p.m. We're going to go until 7 p.m. That's three hours of the most electrifying information, all right? And it's, can you smell what the doctor's <laughs> cooking? All right? <laughs> All right, that's what's going to be going on, you know, be going over. It's going to be at the Active Change, 3200, that's 3200 Lancaster Road, Lancaster Road, Suite 623, Dallas, Texas, 75216. Please call the goddess, once again, please call the goddess, Francis Webb, 817-495-5666, all right, 817 817- Four nine five five six six six. All right, all right. That's it for us. 
Uh, appreciate each and every one for listening. We're going to come on back next week and try to get more info in on you. Um, then I'll be able to tell you all about what happened at this coming mm-hmm. um, weekend and um, it did about the event. And um, we can get into more astonishing and some good information. So we appreciate each and, um, each and every one. We love you. And we out, y'all. This is the Nagas. This is um, um, my crew here. And um, we're going in on it. All right? That's me on the end if you don't know. Peace to the God. You already know, man. Yo, yo. Bohemian wizardry, you fraud, them thieves be killing me. The enemy is close, you both lies on our identity. I feel like he who step, architect like M. Hotel. Son had the son himself, the guard deadly with the art. I fit dark with a slit heart. You can feel it in your bone marrow before the shit starts. Standing in the cold with a scroll that was written in gold. Behold the old glimpse that was never untold. Infinite like the eight, seven dwelling in your melon. No felon, though the unrighteous say that I'm rebellious. I'm primal, my rhyme suicidal. I worship no idols. My style, a load of gems going down in a spiral You stuck in your root, my intelligence passed my cool The God is the truth, every time I step in the booth You stepped on the stoop, got scooped and swooped in my loop Do the knowledge, whack them seeds, get slayed like flu You wish the son of a saw, a gift from the gods Who rules flying through the sky with golden wings Submerged into the light, not everybody go to king With the scepter of justice, melanin cultivating she Until we are Aetherians, finally becoming one With the righteous sun, so law, souls are raw Magnificent glow, with unconditional love Scattered rays for days from the heavens above So below, the souls, just trapped in the lowest depths of hell Incarnated into 76 trillion cells To break free, we must be refined Masculine and feminine properties combined The devil is the author of confusion 183,000 divisions Religion, denomination, sex, code, schisms, and isms. Yo, isn't it written in the Bible that you spoke in parables? The scriptures and gospels aren't just historical. Many passages weren't meant to be taken literal. Most of it is allegorical based on esoteric principles. Baptist versus Methodist, Pentecostal holiness versus Jehovah Witness, Mormons versus Seven Day Advances, skeptics, atheists, and agnostics, divine and carpet tactics of the reptilians, lower fourth dimensional aliens. So beware of the draconian Satanists. Yo, they aim to imprison all true beings through ignorance. So we crush the head of Leviathan. Battle my control. To build a suggestion, brainwashing and indoctrination, using religious politics, education, economics, health and labor, entertainment and war, no sex and law. In this chessboard game called like we've all been pawns, puppets on strings controlled by demonic spawns. You can't run with the devil and walk with God.